Hi, everyone. Thank you, Dave, to introduce the platform. So um, I currently assist the professor at Harvard Biology Department, but for the past four years, I've been teaching bioinformatics and biostatistics. And so today I will just introduce my experience use Biodata Catalyst as a teaching tool for my labs. So I think in the two ways it is uh, benefit my teaching from the student's perspective. Um, I think this platform, when I teach in the lab, it introduces students they have the cloud computing experience, how to do the data, big data analysis in that platform. The other thing is from my uh, prospect, all teachers or instructors prepare and I think it greatly enhanced my teaching efficiency. Um, so I can troubleshooting in the real time with them. And also the, the students, you know, they can collab with me at the same time. So I will use two examples not uh, in my two subjects, my course there to introduce my experience there. Next slide, Amber, thank you. Yes, so um, my journey start, uh, I mean, the, my with the BDC state, uh, I think way back in 2020, and um, it's four years almost now. So I first used as my research, and at that time I was a BDC fellow. So I try to do GWAS to identify genetic markers related to iron overload from the sickle cell disease patients. And actually I'm teaching that time, I was teaching that time, but I didn't think of use BDC at that time. But gradually I figured out, okay, BDC maybe it better in a way um, to, uh, for the student to easy easier to use. I will explain why when I teach the course there, okay? So gradually, I think uh, we plan to use it in 2022. Then finally, we bring in two of my course in uh, 2023. Next slide, Eva. Yeah, so um, for, I start with the recent one is the uh, biostatistics class. So you see the picture here, the beautiful smile is my student there. Um, uh, I don't know if some of there, but I see some of my colleagues here. Thank you for joining. I appreciate. It. Okay, and uh, so oh, I just think I just maybe have a introduction for before I join. I use the BDC for bell statistics for the lab part. Is I teaching using R. So for the students, some use Mac, some use Windows. So for them, uh, I will take maybe one session just to tell them how to install R and R Studio on their computer. And uh, you know, some one of students saying, I have a Chromebook. So for R, I don't think I have the opportunity to install. So that's that's a, a thing, you know, um, a kind of a challenge for me. So um, for recently we use the bell data is I just uh, try to demo, you know, use one lab. Uh, we have nine labs for the whole semester, but I use one of the lab is on the multiple linear regression. So I have the R code already been using before. So, and I have the data, which I sent to Sarah and Dave. They uh, helped me to create a project on the platform for students just uh, for the learning purpose. So we focus on the student and see how they can learn to use the, the platform, how they can start up the R Studio and then finally run the um, analysis. So you can see the picture on the right lower panel is uh, Sarah was trying to demonstrate at that time. And it it, it very good, runs very smoothly on the platform and online. So in this case, student just need to log in uh, the online account at night, they have Wi-Fi, everything, you know, they don't need to set up the local computer environment. So we have 60 students in total, and some of, I mean, 28 of them register on the platform as an active user for their data analysis after the class. And uh, 
we planned for a bigger uh, building group thinking, okay, maybe they have, we have so many students. We have, we plan to use 150, but uh, at last uh, it just uh, takes $10 for the whole class and for, I mean, almost a two hour lab for the 60 students. Uh, so in that uh, sense, I think it is a very, a very good for the teaching purpose, right? Um, so this is for the bell statistics. And then I will answer the question if you think in interest. So I will talk about the bell informatics, which is uh, happened before the bell uh, statistics. So for the bell informatics before I teach in, um, for the bell um, statistics, I just teach R, you know, for the, that, but for, for this one, I teach different software and some with the coding, some with the, like GWAS, right? I I use P-Link and R and before before the BDC. R and Seek, I use R at that time. So um, for both of them, right? I have to let students install software and they are so hesitant to look at the, like for example, P-Link is a line by line code, right? So they are, I found that when I teach them some of uh, undergraduates, especially they are um, few struggled. So then we finally emerged in the BDC for these two labs. Um, so you can see the lower panel, Dave was uh, demonstrate how to use one app called Genesis for the single variant associated analysis. So this app, I think for both lab, the GWAS and RSEQ, we have this app. You can press the button, put your settings, and then you are ready to run. And uh, so we also have a huge online class there. And so each student, they can set up their project. And uh, uh, if they run to some pro problem, the Dave or me, we can uh, directly, you know, uh, click the, their project, which we, we are also a member of them, so to help them. And so after that, the student also uh, assign a cloud uh, credit for each of them if they want to use them. So I think it's also very successful um, teaching for these two labs. So after this, I referred to this, you know, I think it was good to teach him. Now one of my colleagues is teaching bioinformatics. I referred to him. Next slide, Amber. Yeah, thank you. So uh, yes, I try to, you know, I whenever I see my colleagues, they are teaching this, I will introduce. So uh, Dr. Tung now currently teaching bioinformatics. I think for the 2024 spring, he had been using for the lab. And Dr. Xu will teach him uh, genomics for the fall. So he he also have the plan. I think he already reached out to BDC to use as a teaching tool there. And for myself, for the students, they I have a um, uh, cloud credit from NHLBI. I think Paul is also on this call, right? Thank you, Paul, for assigning this credit for all the students. And so for the future labs, I planning maybe merging more of my lab modules to the BDC. I'm thinking now a new course, I will contact uh, um, the BDC members to see how we can collaborate for the teaching part. And I think I go a little quicker, but I, I welcome any of you have questions or you can put a chat or we can, uh, you know, I'm available here to answer your questions there. Next slide, Amber. Oh, yeah, so um, so far, no, yeah, I'll try to summarize this, my experience for the teaching on this platform, right? So I already seen, you know, when the students, they were learning uh, data analysis, they have to set up their own computer for the software, also for the program language part, right? So sometimes they are struggle with that. Oh, they are thinking, I, are my computer not stronger enough to run like GWAS sometimes? So um, for me, if it, if it's a small class, I will be, you know, one-on-one -on -one help. I mean, before BDC, I would. I will help them one-on-one, -on -one, set up a meeting, to try to uh, help them, each of them. But when I have a bigger online class, sometimes it's a little uh, tricky to 
you know, um, in between, I have a cut off saying, okay, I meet you in a breakout room and the others have to wait. Even though we have two TA for the bioinformatic, it is still a little hard to manage. So for BDC and offer an uh, option for us to smooth run the lab. Next slide, Amber. Yeah, sorry, we put too much word there, but there are good things that I want to say. So yeah, so students use this platform, they can, you know, uh, ready to access the data and then they also, you know, to learn on the platform. So the software or the tools is already on the platform. And also at the same time, um, they can add me, an uh, instructor, and add their team members in their project. Like you see on the right, right? I just a screenshot before I, I present here. So is uh, I think at that time they were trying to set up the members that, uh, in the in the each project, the teaching project. The student themselves can also do this. They can press the button, for example, if I'm teaching, they will search my name, add me as their project member to help them. They can add also the help desk members um, to help them. They can add the, his, the classmates to help them. So this way they can collaborate in real time. Right? And also facilitate our troubleshooting process. We can go directly to the project to help them. And so I summary this is the BDC and foster a supportive learning environment. So uh, Sarah and Dave, we work directly uh, for the teaching. And, but I know in the background, Emily was trying you know, to do the, the, the data access for the BDC. Amber and Natalie was uh, organize our community hours so we can have this uh, uh, environment available to the researchers and the students. And here, I appreciate all your support. And I've been working you know, youth with you for this past four years. I really appreciate everybody's support here. Thank you.